she called us Gertrude Francis Agnes. Tell me about your memories. Okay, when we were growing up, we were called the Three Little Dutchmen, and everything we did, we did together. We were kind of like triplets. Um, we looked out for each other. We took turns more or less torturing each other. It was like two on one. If if two of us, it was Gert. Gert would protect me from Fran. Fran would protect me from Gert. I don't think I had to protect them from each other. No, I don't think so. <clears throat> but um, we were we were one. Mama treated us as one. She called us Gertrude Francis Agnes when she talked to us. We were we were together. It, it was a. Uh, we slept together. We everything. We did everything together. Got into yes. trouble together. Yes. And out of trouble. Oh yes. We helped each other out of trouble. To protected each other. Yes, we did. We had to. A lot of times. We uh, milked cows, and we always uh, we always uh, had a, had to sieve use a sieve to strain that milk because. No telling what we got in it when we milked because we would, well, we had to wash the cows' bags and tits. We didn't call them teats, we called them tits. Yeah. So, anyway, we ran out of filters. But I don't know if we were milking at that time. Maybe we just had to run this errand for Papa that we had to go next door. Over here. To uh -huh, wash and it, it was on an e Easter Sunday, Sunday morning. Oh, I know what Easter it was. Sunday. We returned it. That's right. We returned okay, it. Okay, we had borrowed some some filters. filters, and on this Easter Sunday morning, we went all dressed up. I think we were dressed up, we weren't were dressed we? Up and we went church. over and knocked on the door and said, "Happy Easter! Here's your filters." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like that. And so, and every now and then we'll say, "Happy Easter! Here's, here's your, your filters." filters. <laughs> And they get, invite us in and they gave us candy. Gave us candy. Oh, yes. And we saw a little boy in a bathtub. A little baby boy. It was. The, I didn't get to yes, see him. It was the first time any uh, of us had well, seen a Gertie, naked you went blind. boy. I went blind. <laughs> a little <laughs> baby boy. Because Christy was. I don't. A little girl. Well, no. We, Christy was I the first. Christy wasn't born yet. No. But so we, we were, were very little. sheltered. So we did not ever see. The difference between a boy and a girl. We weren't supposed to. So there was a little round bathtub on the table, and there was their little uh, grandchild. Did you know what it was? No, but it was this little <laughs> thing, little tiny thing, and his little tummy. Mm -hmm. And they said this was their little boy baby, and we're gone. Oh, and we were giggling, I guess, because that was something we had I never I, seen. I, I, <laughs> oh, that, maybe it's because I we've talked about it. Maybe that's oh, why yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, and then there was another another story we wanted to talk about was this fellow named Charlie Up the Draw, and his real name was Charlie Corba, and he drove a really old truck. You know the Grapes of Wrath truck? That's the kind of truck he drove, mm -hmm. and he smoked a pipe, and he always wore overalls. And he lived As up, a bachelor. Up, up the draw, the, up the draw, uh, up the hill uh, toward where uh, McBride's yeah. place is. In a in a up in a canyon, own. in a canyon, and his house was and they own it in now. the canyon, but inside the house, and there was a small a wooden, into the hill, yeah, a small hill. wooden, uh -huh. small wooden house. Only most of the house was into the hill. Yes. It was it was a in cave. a cave, in a cave, and. He had um, a quilt covering the opening. Well, it was a blanket. Yeah. A blanket. Yeah. Okay. All right, a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> and an and he, army blanket. Yeah, probably. he took us into that cave. Yes. And showed us the. And he had. Uh, he part had of it was uh, out of it, wasn't it? Oh, yes. yeah. And then you oh, walk yes. into the cave. Okay, yes. now I get oh, yes. coming back. Okay. And uh, anyway, he had lots of stuff on the outside of his house because he, he didn't always just live in his cave. He he sat outside in his chair. Um, anyway, we okay, Gertie. This is where well, I don't you know. remember most about this potato. Oh yeah. Thing. Well, we picked potatoes, and so we were asked to come down. Paul, Joe, all of us was asked to come and pick potatoes, and he would pay us ten cents a sack. Oh, we were so delighted because we were only getting seven, six to seven cents to 
fill a big shack up and we were going to get rich. So we went down there. Well, yeah. and the tables were like, like this, this. Yes, like full of dirt, rocks. Oh, it was awful. I don't think we even got 10 sacks, which we usually give out 100. We only got that sack. We went out happy. And Paul and Joe got into a little trouble with Charlie. We don't know. I don't know the full details other than that. I don't know if they moved something or whatever. But he came down and told like Pop and Mama that his sons were even sons of bitches. Oh, yes, right? Yes. Okay, but I don't remember. But Paul and Joe remember, and I do believe it's in the book. Yeah. That they wrote about this. I really believe that it's in the book. So, but it was, you know, it was. It was How much did you get for the potatoes? Is this where you got oh, your first we, check? No, we oh. didn't. Oh no, 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 no. That was it. Floyd Miles. Oh. We wanted the individual check when we picked potatoes, and he didn't want that. But Papa thought that was a good idea because we never had an individual check. So Franny and I got an individual check. But otherwise, it was all one lump sum. See, I didn't like. But it. we didn't. We didn't stay. We didn't stay at Charlie's very much. No. Because we couldn't make any money. Well, it was awful. we, we had to do it for Papa because it was a spring. We didn't really go there unless Papa. That's Papa right. Was That's right. That's right. That's right. Simon Sebelius is what I didn't like. He was a bad guy. Simon? Yeah. Simon, he got me in trouble. What did he do to you, Well, Dirt? he got me in a lot of trouble. We were went to church. Simon was in church. And then Papa said, Simon, you come and have dinner with us. Mom was in Germany. Okay, That's that was good. Man. Come here where well, we had the little shack, you know, the kitchen. Stove in it. We had the living room across the street with the stove in it. I built the fire in the living room. Papa had the stove on in the kitchen. So I came in and said, would you move to the living room so I can cook your lunch? Because I had to feed him. And they went over there and he told Papa, he doesn't like it. Papa got me into trouble and I was grounded for six months off of this farm. But Paul would sneak me out. We'd go to John Pond, go skating one time in the winter. But I didn't really want to go skating because I was afraid if I drowned it, Papa would know I did wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then six he'd really be mad at me. He grounded me for six months. I could go to school. He ground me for six months. I don't know if it really stuck, but it was a long, long time. Oh, it was bad. He he told me that I didn't like his friends, that I made fun of his friends. I mean, Papa was really disrespectful. disrespectful. And I wasn't. I kept telling him, no, I just lit the fire. I wanted you out of my hair so that I could, I mean, out of the room, so I could fix dinner. So oh, that, that was, that was, that was just a that misunderstanding. Was, it was just not a good thing. It wouldn't have happened now, but, you know, it happened then. But this, this man wasn't altogether no, fair. He no, was. he wasn't, see. And Papa wanted, when Mom was in Germany, he, he wanted uh, one of us kids to kind of stay with him and help him on the farm. So he always told us, you know, we got trouble in school. He would take us out of school, and we would have to stay home. Don't get in a fight. Right. But if somebody hits you first, okay. But if you get in a fight, get kicked out of school, you're home with me. Because he wanted me to stay home one year, and I didn't want to do that. Well, you know? that's when I got in trouble in the eighth grade at Jameson. Yes. Because I hurt the teacher's son. I think I broke his leg. Oh, well, I, yeah. Yeah. Okay, who was and that? And that was that new teacher. Gaddis? After, no. No, no his no, name was Mr. Smith or something. Okay. And oh, he was he had stinky man. that's yeah. And we we were <clears throat> playing ball, and I could catch the ball, so I pushed the kid out of the way, and he fell in the ditch, and he broke his leg, and I got in trouble, and I couldn't go back to school. Yeah, that's when I, that's when I went to live with Mary, and then I lived with the Jacksons, Jacksons right. because yeah. Mama was in Germany, and I was you guys were in high school, and I couldn't go with you anywhere because it wasn't allowed. So I was too much for Papa to deal with at home. Yeah. So it was better for so me to go home. live with yes. Mary. Yes, I remember that. Okay. And that, that was a good, that was a good, thing. a good thing. Okay, yeah. Except it was. for being it homesick, it was right. a good Right, but thing. then when you came home, we were <laughs> running up and down on the cellar. Yeah. Up and we were playing hide and go seek on the cellar. And Aggie kept saying, I heard here, I heard here. And we'd say, oh, shut up, why? <laughs> Well, the next morning she was like this. So I walked to the neighbor lady, Mrs. Miner, brought her back, and 
said, what's wrong with Aggie? She said, oh, she has the mumps and she has to be in bed for two weeks. So I got to stay home from school, from high school for two weeks to take care of her because I didn't have to go to school then. And I didn't either. <laughs> and then I didn't have to go back to it was Nessa because it was almost the end, the end of, of school. school year. Yeah. And then by then mama was coming home. So. Yeah. I was so happy. All good. <laughs> I was so happy to be back. But home. it was her. I mean, she was really swelled up really bad. But oh, did we did get the moms? Miss, no. No. And no. Mrs. Miner said, "Oh, give her a pickle, and then we'll know for then sure." Then we'll know. For, yeah. That's right. <laughs> and then you go. <laughs> oh, and then she. Oh yeah, she has the mumps. Yeah. So Mrs. Miner walks back home again, and Peggy's home. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> That lady came a lot of times in now. Uh, Frida? Frida Miner and walked it and, uh, and uh, helped us out a lot. Yeah, Mrs. Miner was a she really was a nice, nice lady. Woman. I have a picture of Mr. and Mrs. Miner sitting there with Chris on the left. Oh. Did you give that to Vicki? No, I didn't because there was really no Miner stories at all. Oh. No. And I, you know, I, well, I just they always it. gave us grapes. Oh, and we they? used to. She had flowers, and we and used to eat her poppy seeds. Oh, that's oh, right. That's yes. what's wrong with I wonder you guys. If they were the real I thing. knew I there so. was something oh. wrong with Because she you. had those those uh, big orange poppy, poppy seeds. Oh, really? And we would go in the garden and eat them and giggle and giggle. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Frida, because she had the garden. and. She Mama's, gave us pretty flowers, I remember. Yes, and lots of Mama's friends had flower gardens. Molly Ray had a beautiful garden. And the Pat... Uh, Bets. Bets, oh yes. Mm -hmm. They all, you know, besides... Do you remember when we went to grade school, we milked the cow and we had to take a, a, a yeah. gallon of milk oh, yes. on the oh. bus to this lady and then from the school ground walk to her place. She would give us candy. Mrs. McGordy. Mrs. McGordy. Mrs. McGordy. Mrs. McGordy. Oh yes, we she loved give that. Us she had the best candy. candy. Oh, and then, we, but you know, nowadays you couldn't get off the school ground once you get off the bus. And besides, you couldn't take a gallon of milk on the bus either. You but know. We, yeah. But, but we could do it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh man, I tell you. And then Emil, the little rooster. Oh. He was Paul. a good little friend. But Paul and I were sitting outside. Okay. And he said, "Oh, watch this." And he threw a corn stalk, about that long. I didn't mean to hit the rooster, but, but he, I mean he meant to hit it, but not hurt it. But he broke its leg. Well, the rooster ran around, and we knew that if Mama was going, of course, that if we didn't oh, take Mama, care of that leg. First time Mama went to Germany? Yeah. Probably. Papa would really be mad at us. So we took some sticks, and we put it on there, and we wrapped it all up. And we called him Emil. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he would follow us to the bus, because we bus. had that milk. You know, oh, my see? God. And he, because we fed him milk, see, and he'd follow us to the road when we'd get on the bus. That's, that's and then the our best. corn crib was right over there where we have our tree right now in our yard. And one morning he was all blue and he was dead. Yeah. It was not good. It's too hot for frog oh, hoppers. Yeah. And uh, it was very, you know, it, that was kind of neat. You know, and then animal. we also had a duck named Oswald. Yes. And then I had the chicken named Bearba. 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 Bearba got his feathers pecked well, off. I got some out in the chicken house right now. Yeah. And he followed anybody anywhere with the milk because I fed him milk. And Mom and Papa didn't think he would live. Sure, you can have him and take care of him. You know. But it lived too to be old. And, and then we feed. We always fed our potato peelings to the cows, the calves. We had a cow in the barn here, a little calf in the barn, and we fed it those peelings. And Paul was with me, and that cow moved his head wrong or something when we put the pe peelings in it. So Paul just hit it, and the calf went down like that. Oh my goodness! If we had known how to give mouth to mouth, we would have because we knew we'd be dead if Papa came home and that calf was dead. Oh. But it just kind of knocked it down for a oh minute. But he got back up again. Gosh. Do you remember, do you remember how we watered the calves? No. Oh, you don't? To, oh, we had the water. milk buckets. Yes. They yes. were, the milk buckets were, what were they? Two and a half gallons? Of, uh, yeah, two and a, they're about two that and big. Half, yeah, two and a half gallon size. Aluminum. Filled them up. And carried one in each hand and walked from here over through to the barn, past the barn, because there was the 
the calf corral was on the other side of the barn. And build on my muscles, and I still have them. But yeah. was it just what wasn't it food too, and yeah. everything in the buckets? Just water? No, just water, just water, water, water. because the rest of the food was in the barn. But yeah. that's oh. how they got their yeah. water. We had to go. Yeah. We I had, had to go carry right. the now water to right. the cat. Right. Um, and that's why Papa tried to dig a well yeah. too, mm -hmm. because he yeah. he really yeah. thought there should be some water out there. The outhouse stories? Oh, we were afraid of the dark. Oh, afraid of the dark and afraid of the toilet. It was not a good thing. Not it good was thing. No, it was, it was stinky and and we as would black with the spiders. Yes, and I don't think we sat very long. We just no. but we'd all three go, go together. together and lock ourselves and look in. around and, and, and walk real slow. But no. when we came out. We hit that we door. We did lock. We locked ourselves. Ninety in. miles an hour. We would and left that door open because we didn't want anybody to get us. But Mama oh, always we, said, at the first street light, they would turn you loose. Because oh. you're so ugly. You're so ugly if they looked at you. Okay. Remember that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tell me about your brothers. Joe and Paul. Yes, well, we, we liked them, I think. Yeah. We got along really good. Uh, except for when Gertie threw the fork at Joe. He had it coming, though. But yes, he had it coming. But Paul, we not Paul, according to Joe. Yeah. Paul, Joe said Paul, Gert always tried to get him in trouble. And, when he had he had a, I don't and that, that was Joe. Yeah, well, Joe yeah. He, would tease her. Yeah, yeah right. I, yeah. It's just like what we, I used to do with, we'd have a cluck in with baby chickens, remember? Uh -huh. And I used to get these little baby chickens and pick them up and the mother would run and get me and we had a lot more trees there and I would run and jump up and grab a branch and oh, hold that yeah. baby there and go, oh my can't get gosh. me. You know? Yeah, we, yeah, we, we were, were pretty we, athletic. Yeah, we, we were. We were. We, we, could, we could take care of ourselves. Yeah, we, we, had some, um, we had some boys that used to come from Portland. They were very sissy fine. Pat and I. Pat and I, yeah. And Mike and Mustard. And we had a potato field out here. Uh, they wanted to play football. So we said, we'll take you, know, you boys on our team, on this team. Oh, no. We can, oh, we're boys. No. You are yeah. girls. Yeah. We said, okay. Well, the next morning, we didn't get out of bed. We said, <laughs> we said to them, Mama, where's Pat and Mike? Oh. What did your girls do to them last night? <laughs> they can't move. <laughs> they weren't. They were sissy. They were strong. And that one lady wanted cute. me to marry Mike. They were cute. Well, she brought me a diamond ring, you know. A fake one. The mother. And he Ooh, brought me a fakey diamond ring and said, Mike wants you to have this. And if you keep it, he will get you a real one. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, the, he was a lieutenant in the Air Force, I, know, I think, darn, when we I saw him. Probably, probably, really I saw him oh, years he's probably later. rich now. Oh, damn. Oh, I mean, darn. Darn. Um, and then Pat married a gal by the name Anne, and they had three children. And after, when we were living down below on, in Log's house, Pat decided he went there. He talked about us so much that his wife wanted to meet me. He But she didn't, you know, she was just kind of, but she really wanted me. So, Ask us if they could come. They wrote a letter, and I said yes. We didn't have a telephone, and they came to the house, and the lady was very, very, very quiet. I mean, she was just meek, you know, just mousy. And I thought, poor Pat, because Pat was really the nice one. I mean, the kids were nice, and our kids <laughs> took them around and just showed them, you know, and just they had a lot of fun together. But one day we were sitting at the kitchen table, and Pat is with Dwayne, air game, and she starts laughing and carrying. I said, what's the matter? And she says, I want you to know that I was scared to death. Pat told me some bad stories about how you and your sisters could beat anybody up. And I was scared that if I said the <laughs> wrong thing, you would get me. And she said, but you're okay. So then we, you know, got along real good. <laughs> well, when I talked with your brothers, they said that the three of you were quite a force together. Those weren't their words, but... Oh. They said that we could you mountains. were unstoppable. Yes. <laughs> Together. Well, we were. On the ball diamond. Oh. 
played football, great anything. We, we were good oh ball players. I mean, we really were. We're not bragging, but we were good. We were good, and we could run fast. Gertie had a motor in her stomach. I did. That's, that's what they used right. to say. That's, that's right. 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 They used to say I had a motor in her stomach. And I could chase balls pretty good. I yeah. couldn't catch them very good, right. but I could get them. Get them. <laughs> but um, we'd choose up sides every recess. And there was always a few neighbor kids. <laughs> Couldn't catch a ball. In fact, was, when a she ball came, she'd to, run the other way. Yeah, she didn't know how to she play. She was always the last one pick, right. which is bad. You know, they should but we played. Them. We played morning, noon, and night. We did. Uh, in all fact, the it got to be where we had a teacher named Fritz, and if he says, um, he'd come out and ring the bell, and we'd say, "Wait a minute, we only are in the fifth inning." Ah, oh, he'd let us play. I mean, you know, come on, we got a good education. Let me yeah. tell you. <laughs> but we <laughs> played ball. Gertie, we played jacks. Yes, we did. Round Gert, oh, I was a champion jack yeah, player for a few years. I tell you, she's a champion cow pie thrower. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling <laughs> but you, the jacks was something that was so much fun. The, yeah, we even got the teachers involved with that. In yeah. fact, after I got married, kids went to school. They started them. Somebody had heard that I knew how to play jacks. I had to go up to the school. I told them how to do it. <laughs> the round the world, the oh, flying yeah. stars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't do it. Pigs in the pigs, pigs in, in the, the pen, pen and shut the gate over the fence. Yeah. And around the world and yep. upsies and flying double, stars. Oh yeah, double, double, upsies, and double I can't downsies. do that. I can do the basics, but that's yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But it was, it was. We had a lot of fun. We used to have some boys there that we didn't like in school, in grade school. We built these forts with snow, <laughs> and then we'd get behind them and get the snowballs and kind of put water on them. And then we'd call the Burl, wasn't it? Burl, come here, Burl. We want to talk to you. And then Burl would come. Whack, whack, we throw ball, uh, snowballs at him and just kill him. We were not nice. Yes, we were. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know who was, who was, well, that's but, what we were. We were. That's right. We could take care of ourselves. Yeah. But you know who was fun? We were nice and we were good. Was Bonnie Kaywood. Right. Bonnie oh Kaywood was old, was one year older than me. Okay. She actually, she's about a month older. And she lived great with her, she lived father. with her father. So Down the road. So Johnny she, owns that place now. So Tell about Bonnie. She was an adventurer. She was exciting. Yeah. She did things we didn't know how to do. Yeah. She yeah. taught us how to boil water, water in, in a coffee cans. Yeah. that we found in the ditch. And we could drink it if we boiled it after we boiled it. And, and, and we, we would walk in the creek. And Johnny owns that place now. We'd walk there, because I was up there the other day, um, in the setting traps for Johnny. And I said, this is a creek we used to boil our water in. <laughs> you know, we used to, we had a railroad tr uh, a Trap. train that came by, and we, we could walk those rails, rails. Yeah. without falling off for oh, a long a mile, time. A mile. Because we'd have to go <laughs> here. No, I think here from to, here to uh, just well, just next door. And to get our we could get our cows down here by miners. Yes, we could. Well, we we walked the tracks to get you, the cows we and good bring them in for you know. But one day I, I was afraid of snakes. I mean, I'm still am. Yes. These two girls, we are walking to get the cows on the river tracks, and they told me, oh, we saw a big snake. Big <laughs> snake! I came back to the house. I had to get the cows by themselves. You guys did that. Well, you passed out on one of the hikes from the Jameson School up to the fossil bed I don't because you saw a snake oh. in the road. Yeah. I wrote about it in the story, and you passed out. Because I bet it was a rattlesnake. It was, and well. so somebody got some ditch water <laughs> and dumped it on you, and you were just so mad you were you were so scared of that snake but one of the remember. teachers i know because you passed out but we kept on going they got you revived they dumped dish water on you and you were then, fine then caught caught and up with us we went up to the fossil beds in the hills behind mogs that was our that was a i think uh, one, of our one, trips. one field trip oh, no, once no. to the jail no. and one to the, to the sugar beet factory oh and it smells so bad yeah. about yeah. Yeah. us. But I know I, I, our, our, a lot of our trips was going across the um, well, uh, the canal on that narrow bridge, yeah. picking wild onions uh -huh. and hitting those tick tick bags and, on our head on and our head. pop. Yeah, and uh, you're right. Those, those are our field trips. I know. <laughs> Remember? Those wild onions oh, yes. and those and, tick bags. And then oh, oh, they would oh, bloom God. and we'd all get married. And those were our flowers and we, everybody oh, would get married. Oh, and we'd take turns God. getting married. <laughs> yeah. Didn't we? Yes and I mean, no. I'm not making them up. No, 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 okay. no, no, the tick bags, you're not yeah. making that up. And we had lard and salt head. sandwiches. Yes, the but boys had lard and sugar. Well, I don't know what they had, they did. I had lard and salt. 
That's what they said. Did and they Joe too and Paul say that? That's what they said, and they said we didn't. They they said we didn't have lard and salt, and so we talked about it, and we had lard and salt. We had the, lard and salt sandwiches salt. that we had taken to school on 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 and different numerous occasions. We yes, tried to trade, trade. bologna, peanut butter. Real. Bologna. Mama made peanut butter sandwiches with syrup. Homemade bread. Yeah. Homemade bread. Instead of yes. Carol, Carol syrup. syrup, right? She mixed it with Carol syrup, so it'd go further, and, and, and it's sweeter too. Jimmy Hutchinson, bless his heart, he's deceased now, oh, but he yeah. used he would trade with us. But yeah. when we would get out at recess, we were able to leave the ground, and there was a big cellar. It's not there anymore. We could leave the school ground, get off the property, run up that hill. We had a path right across the highway and go to the little grocery store, which is not there anymore. Jameson's and store. And buy, if we had a penny or two, buy something and come back to school and be there for playing or whatever before the bell rang. And they told me that they had some <laughs> bologna there. Bologna? Uh -huh. That's what they said. Bologna? They called it bologna? And I said, I want some. Well, it was that little bubble gum. But I thought it was bologna. Oh. oh, I want a bologna so, I, you know, I can't eat bologna up to this day. Bologna. I'm weird because of the snow bazooka. Bazooka bob. Yeah, but they called it bologna or something. Or they showed me the, the wrapper and, no, they didn't show me the wrapper because I thought when they told me that it was, and for, they could get it for one cent. Man, I mean, I went up and down that hill. You thought they were yes, going to give you a real bologna. I real bologna so I could have a real sandwich. But <laughs> Jimmy Hutchison gum. did trade. He, he always oh, yeah. had candy and he had all kinds yeah. of goodies. Were you guys invited to his birthday to. party? <gasps> Charades? And I had to get on my hands and knees because I got the one be, be a cat and I had to <laughs> lick the milk and a little bowl on the floor. So I'm hands and knees. <laughs> Licking the milk. Goody has had an exciting life. We didn't get invited. <laughs> no, because it was my age, and that's probably why. That's why I said. He that's couldn't invite the whole school. No, he couldn't invite the whole school, so he invited me because I was He was always grade. so kind. Yeah, you know, he was. Yeah. He, and even if he didn't eat our lard and salt sandwich, he, he always kind of gave us a candy bar. Of, but he, he did salt. have bologna sandwiches. Because his family had the store. Yeah. We did. I did get to eat a bologna sandwich because he ate that lard and salt sandwich. Yeah. Because he, yeah. you know, because we had to have a lunch. And then we, then they got hot lunches. Oh yes, in the in the basement, basement of the gym. We didn't we didn't celebrate our birthdays with parties, but one year, I mean, really, we one year I was given a, a birthday party at school. No, here in the in the playhouse. Oh, the one with the rock. With the rock boys walls walk over. The, yeah. And and Mama made a cake. That's when I was given that doll named Christy with hair, because, and I think it was before Mama went to Germany. Maybe I don't know. I was seventh or we called her Dorothy. Wasn't her no. name Dorothy? No, and no. you renamed her. No, the one that Mama gave me the big doll oh. was named Christy. I named it. But the the doll that Adley Dorothy. gave you was Dorothy. 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 And the little doll that I had from Sister Marianne had gotten broken, and I left it in the ditch overnight and it melted. Oh yeah. I wrote about that in the story. And you felt so sorry for me that you gave me your doll Dorothy. Dorothy. <laughs> I never had a doll, by the way. Well, I didn't for very long because I had to give no, it no, to her. Yeah. Oh, yes. really? No, you had it. Had it you had it for years. years. But, we but I had this little tiny no, doll. Okay. I had this little tiny doll yeah. for years and then I, I mean, it was what I carried around, I guess, because and it was probably three or four years, and I left it in the ditch, and it was made out of that plaster, plaster stuff. stuff. And it yeah. just disintegrated, right. probably got big, and then But busted. then Mama gave me a doll about this big with yellow hair, and it was she after, doll, doll. and we had a party. I best. always knew Mama liked Eggie like better because Francis and I didn't have no, a doll. No, but it was, it was a birthday cake, too. Oh, oh gee. No. And I don't remember ever getting, I mean, I don't. Did you get a birthday cake, Francis? No, I didn't either. Well, I see? Don't, see, that's why I said we didn't celebrate birthdays. No, did we? no. I mean, it wasn't. No. Uh, you know, we were supposed to talk about our brothers. And oh. What do we do? We talk oh. about ourselves. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, but we buried God. Dorothy after she got broke. Yeah. We buried Dorothy, and that was kind of sad. We buried we that doll that I had, too. Yeah, we had Crop graves. Behind the cellar. We had graves <gasps> for our animals, too. Our cats. We, we buried now. birds. We buried, yeah. we buried lots of things. We buried ring. Ring, the a dog, dog. Yeah. 
petting the dog. He had rabies, didn't he? I don't think it was rabies. It was that uh, parvo, parvo probably, probably oh. that made him yeah. when he was well. a pup when <laughs> he was, and he survived it. But I don't know if he did. I don't know. I, I, he might have had a genetic well, ge a nerve disorder. Because because Teddy was wasn't it Ted that was sent out on the horse with the gun, Papa's. He, he, Papa's he Ruger just shoot, yeah. to shoot Ring, he and just, everybody stay away from the mad dog. He, he, whenever he would have these nervous fits, then Mama would say, "Stay away from him." And one oh, time, I remember the fits. oh, Ring's having a fit. So one day, Teddy was there, and Ring was having a fit, and so he got his gun. He shot the dog, and he got grabbed the shovel, went right, just right out there to the field, and dug that grave in about. Two minutes and buried ring. Buried ring, and that yeah. was the end. And then there was Mama's dog, Spit. No, no spit. Spit. Oh, remember spit? Nasty little thing. And it didn't yeah. like us. Well, we didn't like it. No, no, but we didn't pet that dog, uh -huh. did we? And its hair never got combed. It no, was always it was just ugly. matted and ugly. I always went out when my hair gets out of order. I always think, think of, of the Spits, dog. the dog. <laughs> Because it was so ratty, and that was it, that blonde it color. It was a blonde, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I do. It's bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I remember we had a playhouse over here. Yeah. Playhouse. And I used to go in the house and get flour, vanilla, sugar, and milk. Go in the house. And oh. I was going to make a cake. I was going to get a recipe, and I'd write down exactly what I put in there because I was going to send it in and get money. Oh. It didn't oh. turn out too good. But anyway, I tried. I really but tried. But you were the cook. I really tried. And then for our ice cream, when we milked the cows, yeah. we'd take a cup out. And we'd... Oh, and make foam. And then make foam. And then come into the house and put vanilla and sugar in it and then freeze it. That was so good. But now I bet you if we tried it, we couldn't eat it. And no. I know we couldn't. The kids would. Well, when I told the grandkids about the Leckerwasser. Yeah. And it was. Uh, honey and vinegar. vinegar, and then we got creative and we put soda in it, so we'd have soda pop. <gasps> Sin, you know, that. and sh yeah. because, <laughs> yeah, it was fizz. Everybody had the knee-high orange soda. Oh. Well, they always had more. And we know. had beer, and we used to trade our beer for a soda pop. With who? Who well, trade? We didn't do that. <laughs> now, <laughs> come on, fess up. I, I did. Oh, <laughs> what did do was that? Well, because the the people would come here and we'd go down to the <gasps> cellar. Oh, yeah. With that oh, hole that in the middle of it with water. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. I hated and with that the black widow spiders. Oh, I hated that cellar. We had a plank across there. And we weren't allowed to run over it, but we, we did. And, and we anyway. rolled down it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We weren't allowed to cellar. do that either. And I we had the cellar. neatest little yard. Between, between where the traffic yes. house is right. now and the right. cellar. Yeah. And, 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 we and, and we had yeah, lots of lots of pictures taken okay, that's under the, the willow tree. That's where that three little Dutchman picture is yes. taken that's between right. the cellar right. and the that house. Yes, that's right. That yeah. That, with Gertie's I, long braids. Oh, yes. I had a boil one time right here and I still have the scar. <laughs> and Mary held me no, the boys held me down while Mary pushed it out and then poured alcohol on it. But before they did it, I, I used to run. I get on that tree, jump up on the house, and then the boys would surround the house because I knew they knew I had to come down because one of them would come up and get me. But that's and then they named you Boils for a while, right? Until I fell off of the milk stand and got gravel, gravel in her cheek, and they called so it gravel. So Mary, dirty. the boys held me down, and Mary put alcohol, cleaned me up with alcohol, so pure alcohol, scream. and I screamed. And they picked out all the rocks out of her face. But the reason I fell off was because I made a pair of shoes with. Um, Cardboard oh, yeah. and hammered uh, a block of wood on it for a high heel. I took some twine and made a for string. And I'm walking. I, I went up on the milk stand to put the milk cans, and I went to get them. And my heel caught, and I fell off the milk stand onto the gravel in the apartment. I, I remember that. Yeah. Hurt. That hurt. In so fact, that's gravel gertie. And then he called Johnny. Called me gravel gertie. But Johnny had a. The, Johnny went out to get the cows one day across the road, and he come running back there and said. Mama or Papa, the cow's got some bananas coming out her butt. <laughs> yeah, that's the story. And uh, right, she was having a calf and it was her feet. 
So they gave that calf to Johnny and they named it Bananas. Banana. Banana. And later on in life, she died of anthrax. Oh, she did, but I learned to milk on bananas. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we milked her for years. Yeah. She, she died of anthrax. Oh, sure that was when the anthrax, anthrax came, came through. Uh -huh. Oh, my they gosh. They had to burn. They had to be burned. Oh, know. burned. Oh, uh -huh. oh, yeah. That's right. Burned lots of them. Over there. Burned them across the road. Yeah. Or did they have to just burn them where they laid? I, I, I went out to get moved them. I think they had to I just think burn, they burn, burn them. them right there. I went out to get the cows one day, and we had a little ditch, and one of the cows, you know, you get a cow in the back, they can't get up. Had got it laid down, and then went to get up and kind of roll in this ditch. Of course, they found their dead. Of course, yeah, dead. with their legs up in the air. Yeah, because once they get on their back and do a little ditch, they can't get out. Cow can't do it. Of course, they can't. Was she brown and white? Black and white? Was she a black and white cow? Probably, because we had a lot of Holsteins. We had two, Jer two Jerseys, Holstein and... I mean, two Guernseys, Jersey cows. Jerseys. And they were called Paulette and... Oh, they were 4-H? Yeah. Paulette and Gladys? No. no. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't the, know what, they, but their tits were only this big, and we had to milk them like this. Uh, oh, yes, the because they were so had a good looking. size, so because yeah. we could really get a lot of milk out of them. Yes. The, the cows were named after the boys' Girl girlfriends. girlfriends. Yeah, there was a Nancy that used to suck herself. <laughs> Remember? Yeah, and they put that harness on her so yeah. she wouldn't. The cow but she, she, she could she she was, she was, she was. Oh, yeah, they had to put a kind of a yoke thing. Yeah. yeah. So she well, wouldn't Stevie came in the other day and about a year ago <laughs> and has it. And then she, we'd milk her, try to milk her in the morning, but she wouldn't have any milk. Yeah. Glass. Oh, my oh, it made Mom, Papa so mad. And they, anyway. I was milking one time and <laughs> the cow, every time we'd get them into the stanchions, they would put up their tail and they'd poop. Splattered all over, so we'd grab oh, the yeah. shovel so we wouldn't have to clean it out, you know. Well, one time I was so mad at this cow on her way out, yeah. she decided to do it, raise her tail, and I was mad. I had the kickers in my hand; they were kind of like this, to keep them from kicking. I was so mad, I went whack, well, shattered her tail up while I got it in her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she had to chase her around the barnyard to get that mm -hmm out of her. You know what? So to get that. The kickers, the kickers out of her. You know what? They're, they're, they're <laughs> hooks, right? they're hooks on a chain. Yeah, they hook on a chain. They're hooks we have on a chain. Hanging, yeah. hanging and they and they clip uh, to keep the cows from connect to us. the back oh. of the the, that the knees, yeah. yeah, or whatever. Right, right here, called. right here, yeah. right here. And we kick them. I mean, put that thing there. And, and it kept them. From I kicking. had to run around that darn yard. <laughs> but when we first started Malcolm, we didn't have the stanchion. We would walk out to the barnyard oh, yes. and have a wooden. Tea stool. Yes. Stool that was made, homemade. Like that. And just stop, milk Sit the cow. Sit down and milk the and cow. And go to the next, after we dumped it, we go to the next cow. Yes. And that's how we milk right out And the like I said, we put, as soon as we milked the cow, we had the bucket full of milk and we poured it in the sieve and let it strain yeah. into that 10 gallon can. And those 10 gallon cans had to be taken out to, to the, the highway. road. But we have a cooler. To put them in. Put to yeah. put for overnight. Yeah, there it is. And it's still oh, sitting there. Sit. But we didn't always have that. But anyway. And then we had the we cream had separator, too, that we had to pour Did some we? of the... Yeah. I the don't crank. remember too much of that. I remember that yeah, because remember of the that. cranking yeah. and the cream. I have it here, but I don't remember. The cream, would, the cream yeah. was a... That's why Papa got the jerseys, because... Oh, they were 4-H. Yeah, but they were they were for Who's the milk. They were that for the milk. Paulette was a 4-H cow. That was Polly's. Polly's. Paulette. Uh-huh. Um, and Josephine, Joe, was it Josephine? Was. Maybe it was oh Josephine. my gosh! Well, that makes sense, yeah. doesn't it? And, and I didn't get to go to 4-H. Did you with the cow? Mm -mm. See, no, there? we got to go in sewing. Yeah. I went to 4-H in sewing, not with animals. The girls got to do the girl oh, stuff. You did? I did a sewing uh, dress. I did. Yes, I did. You didn't. You cooked. I didn't want. It. <laughs> <laughs> but you cooked. And I liked sewing. Yeah, I know it, but see, I should have learned. You were good at it, yeah. But, huh. Okay. All right, close. Okay, honey. Is that plenty? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Colette, we love you. Yeah. Thanks for this being really patient. Yeah, being patient with us. You better thank your dad. Hey, are you going to be on this so we can see who did all this? Come here, come over here. Come over here so we can give you a hug. Come on. That you're responsible. Come on. Sure, you can lay across us. Yeah. You can. Or. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Okay, here Coletta we go. is responsible for the, all of this. Yeah. This is Rose is looking at us like we're nuts. <laughs> okay, I'll roll off. Okay. Ah! Good job.
job. All right. I'll move the chairs over there. We're having a party underneath that tree. Okay. As you know, I'm I'm still Gert. But anyway, I want you. I want to welcome you to my first home. Uh, if I'd known you was coming, I would have. You know, I was doing it. I would have cleaned it up a little bit, but I didn't know you were coming, so you're just going to have to take it like it is. But as you can see, I'm ready for Halloween. I have my cobwebs hanging. Okay, but anyway, I don't remember it all living in here. Uh, I can only hear, uh, really. Okay, this is our first home that the Shaffields. There are ten kids, but only nine of us. Plus my mom and dad lived in this house. Um, Aggie wasn't uh, born yet, and then by that time we were into another home. But this was our first home. Um, I, do, I do not remember it because I was real small. But... Um, this is just a couple of rooms, and I, I remember Mama making mattresses, and we'd shove them, stuff them full of straw, and they were big, and then she would sew up the ends and put them down, and that's what we would sleep on. And I was told that uh, one day Mom was shaking out the pillows and stuff like that and making the bed, and a big bull snake had slept with us that night. Um, had I known that, I wouldn't have used chicken don't house. Like, you don't, don't like, like snakes. <laughs> but... Um, I don't remember too much. Like I said, I don't remember anything about this. But now it is our chicken coop here on the farm, and we have chickens in it, and it's kind of interesting going here. I wished I would have been able to remember the story, but I know I was too small. Uh, someday, when the before it falls down and it's just going sinking into the ground more, and every year we put another pole in, uh, we will eventually tear this down, uh, sterilize the boards, and my son-in-law and husband will make benches for the original 10 kids and we'll have other stuff made bird, bird houses. and bird houses and banks and whatever we can do and we're going to uh, so that the great grand or the grandkids get the first pick and they can be a money making project and we'll just charge for the labor that we have put in it not the labor but the material uh, nails and screws and stuff like that and then uh, this will be something that everybody can have a piece of the chicken house and eventually we will do that. We were going to do it this year, but uh, we looked at it, and it looked like it was pretty good shape, but we want to do it before it falls down because it yeah. won't break the boards. Mm -hmm. But it is in pretty good shape for the shape it's in. Well, you know, the one thing I remember as we were in the other house, the it was, you know, pretty basic like this, but uh, when the roof leaked, oh. you had to put, uh, we had the canning jar lids, and we'd nail those over the hole, and then we'd set pots on our bed to catch uh -huh. the rain. And... It was it was kind of kind of cold. Kind of cold. Yeah. It was so yeah. cold. It was so cold mm -hmm. that you had to have so many blankets on the bed that once you got into bed, Couldn't you didn't move. You didn't roll over because mm -hmm. you get your bed your spot warm, mm -hmm. and the blankets were so heavy that we couldn't move. Right. It was the big quilts. Just, and just to stay like warm. It was. Um, um, it was pretty. I don't like being cold. <laughs> uh, as to this day, we don't either. No. And that's that's yeah. the way you know because we were cold then and. That's one thing we make sure that we're not cold now. And, yeah. But it rained so much in that the house that one day Mama just got tired of it. She just started taking the crowbar and we tore the thing down and oh. brought a granary in and, and put it on the other side. And then eventually I put, uh, Papa helped me, and we put runners underneath and I took the tractor, pulled it in the position that it's right now, and okay. that's that's how we got that house that's in there. The Three Little Dutchman house. Mm -hmm. And the, the boys used it first as, yes, a bedroom. as a bedroom. We used it first as it a was granary. A granary. Mm -hmm. And then, then a bedroom. The boys did sleep in a tent at one time, yeah. and that tent ended up in the up in the hills for kind of a little, maybe a pump house. I don't really know, but I know it was up there for a while. I don't think the boys lived in it, but that's that's about it. And uh, this was the outhouse that we had, and uh, digging the hole. Dig it. We always had to dig the hole, and then you know set the toilet on it. And, and at night, when us three Dutchmans were in the room, and in the bedroom and we didn't we got rid of our little pot by then because we didn't want to sit on it any longer we would have to go to the bathroom but we were real brave girls the three of us would sneak to the real slow and look around in the dark and we'd get inside lock the door we'd all three take turns in the bath the toilet get done and run. open up the door and we mm -hmm. would run, run 90 miles an hour to our bedroom because we didn't want anybody to catch us but as mama used to say if they catch you 
and they the put dark. you in the dark and they put you underneath the light, they will turn you girls loose. Because you're so ugly. Because you're so ugly. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was us. Okay. Uh, the, the, we had to, I mean, one of the chores was cleaning this outhouse and um, we didn't have the luxury of white toilet paper. We had the Sears catalog, which you could either wipe with or read. But before you sat down, you always had to check for black widow spiders underneath the seat. And that was the that was a bad thing. Black we had a lot of black widow spiders, but that was one thing we knew we had to kill. That was that was not a, a fun thing. The um, this is the toilet where we threw things away that we broke. Uh, we broke Papa's pipe. We threw it down the toilet. We broke the meat platter, big meat from Germany. From Germany, we threw it down the outhouse. What else did we break that? I mean, other than assorted dishes, but those were the two. Those were the two were, main two main things. Yeah, that was... Uh, Pop never did ask about the pipe. pipe. <laughs> he he kind of knew, but we were scared to death because a, a gentleman down the road, a friend of his, gave it to him, and Papa used to really like that one, but we were tossing it through the air. Here, you put it away. No, you put it away. Well, it landed yeah. on the And so bar. every time we'd have to dig a new hole, yeah. we would worry <laughs> that Papa might discover all of the things that we had thrown away, you know, because they cover it up. Um, they, they have to, you know... Dig a hole, move it over 10 feet, and make mm -hmm. sure nobody stepped on it. But the biggest thing that guys sometimes did was they would move out houses and leave at Halloween time and leave the poop hole open so you'd step in it to get into the toilet. I don't know if they ever... We didn't hear. Didn't hear, but they did it to other people. Yeah. Um, those were just kind of ornery things. Mm -hmm. The outhouse was um, nice when we finally got one. I think I was a... I was a junior. You were a, a junior. Freshman. I was a freshman in high school when we finally got our first indoor, indoor toilet, toilet and a shower mm -hmm. and a hot water, running hot mm -hmm. water. Uh, plumbing in the plumbing in the house. house. Really? Well, we had a little plumbing. We had cold yes, water. We had, we had, we had cold, cold water and we had an electric heated, water yeah. tank that we filled up all the time. Uh -huh. We had double sinks. Uh huh. We would sit on the sides and put our feet in it. Well, then we'd wash. That, would, that was how we would take our bath. But before we got that, we set, had the galvanized tubs. To sit yeah, in. right. That was but on Saturday time. night, mm -hmm. when we were little, and we made that soap at Agnes Stone's house, that gray, slimy stuff made out of lye, mm -hmm. and it made the water all murky and ugly and gray, and that was the bath. But every Saturday night, the girls took a bath in the kitchen, in that little gray tub, and then the boys took a bath in that little gray tub. Uh, and the boys could never see the girls, or the girls could never see no, the boys. That go was blind. You go blind if you looked at your brothers. Mm -hmm. You go blind, and you go to hell, and but you go sometimes blind. Sometimes I risk one eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's. Okay. Um, Christmas in this house was really something we could um, clean the house every Saturday. The night before church, we had to take our bath. We had to polish our shoes, iron our clothes, get ready for church. That was a major thing. Christmas Eve, um, we'd get a tree if everything was done and decorate it. And we'd save all year with the the, can, the screw lids, the screw ring around the coffee can to make icicles. We had homemade ornaments. We had lights. And we had tinsel. Tinsel was the topping on the... Um, on the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. when when we could finally put this tinfoil tinsel yeah. on yeah. and throw it on the Christmas, yeah, put it great. gently yeah. on the Christmas uh -huh. tree, that was wonderful. Yeah. And we would get midnight. necessities. Oh, we'd go to midnight mass. Mm -hmm. We would and get necessities, um, and we'd usually get another orange, maybe, and mm -hmm. some more hard candy, and, uh, stay, up and stay up all night, and, and have the cows, milk, and have our, our presents uh, midnight after church. after church and uh, have a breakfast when we mm -hmm. came home mm -hmm. and then milk the cows and then go the next bed. day would you know, go to bed then and so the next day you kind of rested it was it was a it was wonderful it was you know it was it was uh, really neat there uh, some of the hunters that would come down here would sometimes friends would uh, send uh, like uh, dates and stuff and then uh, mom would put them underneath the bed but and leave them under there if they came early so we wouldn't see them but the time we dragged them out for Christmas, the mice had already eaten them. So, of course, we didn't get anything. And then Uncle Hunt sent candy yeah. for Christmas because uh -huh. he was a, a good the, candy, candy baker. maker. Uh -huh. right. That was always wonderful. And, uh, he always made things for us, too. But, yeah. um, and then we had these friends, Clayton and Bernadette Betts. Aggie used to stay there they, a lot. Right. They, uh, they called of, me daughter. Yeah. They didn't have any children. They used to give us a pair of Levi's. Uh, lined. Regular Levi's that were lined. And when you rolled them up... Yeah. 